Hi guys, welcome back on my YouTube channel. My name is Ping Ping and for the information of everybody, I make Philippine travel updates and latest quarantine protocols and US visa related information. For today's video, I will discuss to you the latest announcement about the interview waiver program of the US Embassy. What are the visas that are exempted for interview and is K-1 and the U.S. tourist visa included in this announcement. By the way, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified of my new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would like to say thank you to my new subscribers, Farmer and Happy and Ivory Loves. Thank you so much guys for subscribing on my YouTube channel. Now let's discuss the um, uh, guidelines for interview waiver for certain non-immigrant visas. So the Department of Homeland Security authorized the consular offices to waive the in-person uh, interview until the end of 2022. Wow, you're so lucky if your visas are included in this new guidelines or new announcement so what does it mean guys it means that you can avail the u.s visa without going to the embassy and answering all the interview of the consuls so that's amazing you can save time money and effort right plus with all this pandemic anyone um you can like totally get your visas without going to the embassy without um doing the interview portion which is like quite scary let's find out what are the non-immigrant visas that are included in the interview waiver program of the u.s cis <laughs> certain temporary workers applying for H1, H3, H4, L, P, O, and Q visas. If you are applying for these visas, you might uh, apply for interview waiver program. You need to meet a certain criteria in order for you to apply for interview waiver program of the USCIS. So what are the uh, waiver or criteria in order for you to apply for interview waiver. Number one criteria is that never been refused of any type of visas or if you experience refusal of visas before the refusal was overcome or waived already. Number two criteria is no um, apparent ineligibility or potential ineligibility ineligibility meaning to say you're really eligible and you're not um candidate for any disqualification or ineligibility for a certain visas that was mentioned guys for first time uh applicants or individual first time individual petition based h1 h3 h4 l o p and q who are citizens or nationals of a country that participate in the visa waiver program there you mm, there are 39 countries who participate in the visa waiver program so her, here it is guys you can just screenshot and check if your country is among the 39 countries so we have germany andorra and so on and so forth so another criteria for first time uh, individual first is they should have no apparent ineligibility or potential ineligibility. Second criteria is you have previously traveled to the United States on authorization obtained visa, the electronic system for travel authorization or ESTA. You need you need to have a previous travel history to the United States using the ESTA or with ESTA electronic system for travel authorization. All right, that's it. So another group of people who can avail the interview waiver program are certain students, uh, professors, research scholars, short-term scholars, or specialists, F visas, M and academic J visas applicant. 
certain H2 or temporary agricultural and non-agricultural workers. Another reminder, if you are applicants renewing any visas within 48 months before expiration, you are also eligible for interview waiver. So if you have visas already and your visa is expiring within 48 months, you can apply for interview waiver program. Wow, amazing. So this include B1, B2 or tourist visa. But sad to say guys for K1 visas, if you are applying for interview for K1, you cannot apply for interview waiver or you cannot avail this uh, interview waiver program because for K1 applicant, you really need to go to the embassy and apply for and apply for um, you really need to go to the embassy and answer the questions and do the face-to-face -face interview with the consul because K1 is actually under non-immigrant but once you are in America, you will just do adjustment of status and you will be considered immigrant or lawful residence once you're done with your adjustment of status. So for K1, sorry guys, you cannot avail this interview waiver program. But for tourist visa, if you are renewing your tourist visa, renewing, if you have existing visas and it will expire in the next 48 months, you can avail the interview waiver program. All right, so guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something from my video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you on my next vlog. Bye.